The truth is, broadleaf wrappers used to not be acceptable for premium cigars. Like they was considered a ragweed leaf. Like they used them for like cheroots and like the cheap stuff because there's such a thick rugged leaf. And it really hasn't been until the last 10 to 20 years that broadleaf has come into the prime light of premium cigars and become the thing that everybody's sort of after. You know, broadleaf plants in the field don't grow as high as other plants do. They grow about half as tall. You got to stock cut the things and then hang the whole stock upside down when you're curing them. Like the leaf is just I, it's not, it hasn't been everybody's favorite to work with, although now the dark, bold, sweet, powerful nature of this leaf has put it to the front of the pack to the point where there has been a shortage of broadleaf in America for the last few years. Everybody wants to put out a good broadleaf cigar, everything from very affordable to the very high end. 